Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a 4 to 1 multiplexer or 4 to 1 mugs within the Logisim. For it, first of all, we need 4 of the AND gates. Okay, now we need to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V in order to get the rest of the AND gates. Uh, one more, Ctrl C and Ctrl V and one more. Now we have these AND gates. They have one output. Then you need to take one OR gate. OR gate is having five inputs so from here we need to lower the inputs to four now we need to connect first input with the output of the first end gate second input with the output of the second end gate third input with the output of third end gate and fourth input with the output of fourth and get alignment can be a bit problem here but you have to align them properly Okay, now we have to reduce the input of the AND gate to 3. Three, three, and three. Okay, now after it we need to take two NOT gates. Okay, after it we need to take six of the input logic states. This one or this, this one for this, and then this one for this third end gate. Okay, and And one more for the fourth one, the fourth hand gate. Now we have four inputs. Now multiplexer main function is to select one of the one of the data line as accordance with the select lines. That is, these two are the two not get select line. Once it is done, you need to attach the output on output on the output with the OR gate. It 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 will shows the output. Okay, so okay. Now what will happen that uh, there are four there are four combinations for these selective lines but first we have to attach this with the input states these not gates with the input states the lowest the lowest end gate must be connected to the inverted ends both of its pins must be connected with the inverted ends like this and what about the topmost end gate you need to connect both the inputs to the non inverted ends like before this not gates 
for the lowest after not gets both the inputs and for the what's called as the for the above one we need to add both the non inverted ends then what about this the one line must be connected with with the inverted end of this not gate and the second line must be connected with the non inverted end of that end gate this not gate then then we need to connect one end of the third end gate like this that Okay. Like this is connected, this uh, is connected with the with this one, and this one must be connected like like this. Okay, so with the inverted end of the second NOT gate, and this one with the non inverted end of this NOT gate. So four combinations. Zero zero like zero zero and one one and zero one and one zero. It is like that. Now we will check that either can we move them or can we simulation is enabled enabled okay now we will check when it is zero zero when there is zero zero on the selected sele selection lines then our so we, we will see that our first uh, end gate is not sending data second is not sending any sort of data to the output third is not sending any data but the fourth one is sending data you can see that fourth one is sending data okay and when it is zero one sorry zero and uh, zero and one okay then in this in this case we can see that our second and is sending data means that our second one is enabled and is sending data to the output then if we use one zero then we will see that our third one is activated third gain gate is activated and is sending data to the output and when both are one one then our fourth one is sending data to the output so it is a very basic concept and it is the concept of selection lines or selective lines of the multiplexer and also you must know that multiplexer is also called as the data selector that which data line data needs to be sent to the output so hopefully you got the concept that how you can make a 4 to 1 marks within the logisim so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel